welcome to What AM, the daily newscast of world, national, and local news. We also have entertainment, sports, campus events, and your daily weather outlook. I'm Nathan Bowman. Get those COVID booster shots before the holiday travel season begins. That's the word from the director of the National Institutes of Health. Dr. Francis Collins is urging people already vaccinated not to wait any longer, saying another dose will help prevent breakthrough cases. Pfizer and Moderna boosters are available now to seniors and those at high risk, but just yesterday Pfizer asked the FDA to expand that to all adults. Start preparing now. The Thanksgiving travel rush begins two weeks from today, and this year will look a lot like 2019. AAA predicts the crowds will be back to pre-pandemic levels with 53 million people headed out of town. About 90% are expected to hit the road despite rising gas prices. Airlines are bracing for about 4 million passengers, double that of last year. The top destinations are Florida, California, Texas, Arizona, and Hawaii. Omaha police report the arrest of five teenagers early Monday after pursuit that crossed the state line into Iowa and back. Officers say the people taken into custody include a woman who turned 19 Monday, an 18-year-old man, two 17-year-old boys, and a 15-year-old boy. Police say the chase started after officers responded to a shots fired call. During the pursuit into Iowa, just north of Council Bluffs, authorities saw shots were fired at trailing officers. A named draw from a hat on Wednesday afternoon will determine the winner for the race for Osceola Mayor. Thomas Kedley and Matthew Stoll ran for the office, and the candidates each received the same number of votes. Iowa State statutes say county supervisors have to take a name out of a hat to declare the official winner. That action will be taken today at 3 p.m. at the Clark County Courthouse in Osceola. Goodell's attorney made a similar request. When we come back, we'll give you a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. The day we've all been dreaming of is approaching, when life gets back to normal. But we're not there yet. So please, everybody, do your part. Get vaccinated against COVID-19 as soon as possible, because that's the best way to protect you. Protect them. Protect everybody. It's the best way to get Iowa back to normal. Find a COVID vaccine location near you at vaccinateiowa.gov. Myth. I can party with people as long as they don't have symptoms. That myth is false. As we've seen, up to 40% of people who have COVID-19 are asymptomatic and can pass it on to others. So I'd recommend avoiding any social parties, especially indoor ones. If you want to try to socialize but reduce your risk, I'd recommend meeting outside in small groups, continuing to wear a mask, and socially distancing from others if you can. Then together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Welcome back. In entertainment news, the creator of Squid Game says season two is coming. The fictional competition series has become wildly popular on Netflix since launching in September. The creator doesn't have any concrete plans for what will happen this upcoming season, but he says everyone's favorite characters will return. He previously told Variety that he would consider bringing on more writers and directors if the show became popular. A recent study is ranking the NFL fan bases most likely to start a fight, and the Philadelphia Eagles are topping the list. USBets.com reports Eagles fans were also most likely to win a fight among the 32 fan bases after surveying fans and compiling data on weekly incidents in the stands. Rounding out the top five of those likely to start a fight are the Raiders, Steelers, Patriots, and Cowboys. Seahawks fans were found to be most likely to stop a fight. And now taking a look at today's weather. Today we should be seeing some rain mainly after 1 o'clock with a high near 51. Tonight the rain will be clearing out after 8 p.m., bringing it a low around 35. And tomorrow for Veterans Day, we'll be back into the sunshine with some breezy conditions with a high of 48. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on the latest SWIT TV programming at our website and our YouTube page. Enjoy your day.